I don't usually pre-plan things. Super exciting delivery. Have I been trying to plan ahead a little bit better? Do the dad shake. Shirts look crazy. Hi, super exciting day. We're finally going to be framing out our rain shed. And actually first off, to film behind something that is kind of complete and pretty is very different from most of our content since our house has been a disaster for the last year. So this is kind of nice to have a a little backdrop, I'm not used to it. Anyways, we're gonna be framing our hood today. And I uh, first off, we're gonna be using salvage materials. So when we demoed the pantry behind me, um, there was a lot of uh, two by fours and we carefully removed them so we could reuse them in the future. And this is like a perfect opportunity. So most of the framing, actually I think all of the framing is gonna be free, it's been in our garage. Cam's removing the nails right now. And then I, pre-planned the framing layout and all the materials for the hood so we can make sure we had enough. And let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got my drawing here. I kind of mapped everything out in elevation and in plan so that we could kind of figure out the overall dimensions and go from there. And then this is what we're working with. So we're gonna have a four foot wide by two foot tall range hood. It's oversized from our actual mechanical vent so we kind of had to figure out like the additional framing for that um, and that's part of the reason why I made the decision to pre-plan it. I don't usually pre-plan things so we'll see if this makes it easier to do the whole process today. Going to pick up the wood for our rain shed today so we can start building it and we got the wood. We're going to be using lightweight MDF and then Roman clay plaster on top of it. So hopefully this framing exercise goes quickly and we can get it up. Just got a super exciting delivery. I have been waiting for this. This is a Roman clay sample from Portola Paints for our hood. Looks a little gray in the bottle, but it's a warm gray to match pashmina down here. You can see it matches really well. So we're gonna see what this potentially looks like up here as more of an accent, but I'm really excited to see it. start because we're working in between cabinets that are already installed we decided to install the face pieces first and then measure and cut the framing for the hood from there all right we got the bottom framing of the hood done so again we've got like a four foot wide by one and a half foot deep and then we've got additional framing in the center and that's where our actual mechanical hood is going to be mounted. This is the size based on the directions that we received. So this is the hard part. We have to go get corner clamps. We don't have any and I think it'll really help um, screw this all together. And then we will mount it to the studs on the back and through the sides to the side panels of the hood. We've actually been keeping our Home Depot runs to a minimum. Have I been trying to plan ahead a little bit better? <laughs> Seriously? We got our corner clamps, so hopefully that's the only Home Depot run we have to make for today. First of the weekend. We'll see if it stays. Once we had the framing ready to go, we held it together with the corner clamps and went in with these GRK multi-purpose screws. Those worked well. Uh-huh. Yeah, very well. Before we move on, we got the framing test fit and it fits in the hood insert. It didn't fit in the first time. It was like just too tight. 
could have jammed it in, but that's not ideal. So we just adjusted it a tiny bit, but yeah. We started out by installing the top framing first. We screwed this into the wall studs, and then we also screwed it in upwards into the ceiling joist to make sure that it was really not gonna go anywhere and it was very sturdy. Now it's time to install the bottom framing. This was a little trickier because we are insetting it from the bottom face of the hood. So we had to get it super level and in the right spot. And then we, again, we screwed this into the wall studs and then here we screwed it into the sides of the cabinets as well. Ready Cam, do the dad shake. Now it's finally time to install the hood insert, and this was pretty tricky. Cam is better at drilling and screws than me, so I tried to hold it, and then it, you also have to screw from the inside, so it took a lot of holding, and I felt like my arms were gonna fall off. I was very happy when this was in and secure. First time installing the flex vent, we took the flex vent right into the range hood and when I tested it, it was pretty loud and something was rattling. So we ended up changing it out for an elbow. We used a 90 degree elbow to the flex hood and it works so much better. Here you'll see Cam painting the underside of the hood. We used a quarter inch piece of plywood cut to the opening of the vent and this covers the whole underside and we're painting this pashmina so that it'll match the face of the hood. Once we felt really confident that all the vent equipment worked well and was not rattling, it was time to install the face of the hood. I again found myself in a position where I had to hold the piece up nice and level while Cam drilled it in. So exciting to see the hood start to come to life. We got the hood primed last night and had some time to process it. And we're really happy that we didn't end up going with white for our Roman clay because it just doesn't provide the contrast that we're really looking for. Okay, we've got our Portola paint Roman clay in the color Charleston. This is the tub and the product. It's a beautiful color, looking forward to seeing that on. And then to get the product out, we're gonna be using this plastic small putty knife, scoop it on to the metal one and use the metal to apply. Portola says that if you are using a really light color and you're inexperienced, a plastic putty knife to apply is best, but we're not really using a light color. So we'll see how this goes. If we get any black marks, it's from me pushing too much pressure from the metal knife and I'll switch to plastic. We have both, but for now we're gonna stick with metal. Just got the first coat on. Portola's YouTube video recommends doing one coat and then immediately going back a second time on that coat. So the first half of that starts to look crazy when it's not on very heavy, but once you go past the second time, it really starts to look good. So we'll let this dry for 24 hours and then we will do the third coat, which should be the final coat. morning we finally had a chance to put the second and final coat of the Roman clay onto our custom range hood. We did one coat and then we waited at least 24 hours for it to dry and then we did the second coat which is the final and we're just also so happy with it. We think it adds, first off it adds a nice contrast to this area which is all light. It adds like a darkness and then the hood color is actually the same color as the kitchen island so it starts to incorporate some elements again throughout the whole kitchen and adds a really nice texture that we're really excited about. Now that we've got the Roman clay done, it is time to install the crown molding and our brass trim. We cut the brass trim with tin snips, which was really easy. 
And the difficult part came into installing. So we applied liquid nails to the back of all the pieces of brass trim. And then we found it difficult to hold it in place. There wasn't really much for us to clamp to. So we ended up trying to hold it for a while and then had to kind of MacGyver some tape clamps and a piece of wood in the back to hold uh, pressure on all of the pieces. In the end, it turned out great and we're really happy about it, but it definitely took a little bit more effort than we originally thought. Today was practically like a Christmas morning because we peeled off the protective film at our brass trim on the hood and it just finished it off perfectly. It had seemed a little unfinished to me without it, but we were planning on doing it the whole time and it was a little bit more effort than we thought it was gonna be, but it was so worth it. And with our completed hood, we're gonna wrap up the video here. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but this is the last video in our kitchen renovation series. And the next video is our full kitchen reveal. It's taken us about six months of work to get here, but we are so excited to share the finished product with you. And if you've been following along the whole time, we really appreciate your support. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and we'll see you next time.